Well, finally, after a month of anxiety and me just wanting to get down to it, I finally, I finally, finally got to painting and inking this piece. Uh, this one was very fun. I liked it. And there are a lot of things and aspects about it that just spoke to me. Um, so yeah, that's, that's, that's kind of what this is going to be about. But before I get into that, if you are new here, ladies and gentlemen, uh, please consider subscribing, liking, and commenting below and telling me your thoughts on the video. Uh, with that being said, let's jump into this, uh, discussion because there has been a lot of stuff that has happened between me actually talking about this. Um, so the inspiration behind this piece was actually a photo from the Archelect Twitter. Um, the Archelect is a website slash artificial intelligence, apparently, that um, curates and finds throughout the entirety of the Internet pictures, images, videos, everything that is media and puts them together because they meet a certain aesthetic. That aesthetic could be um, noir, that aesthetic could be technology, or that aesthetic could be, what was the other one? What was the other one? Art. I'll just say art because I, sh I sure remember it, but it, I don't. But yeah, and that's where this uh, piece really came from. And um, as you're looking at the picture that I use as reference, it, uh, it's there's a lot about it that I just really like. I liked everything from the uh, the white line going across her face, uh, going from her nose to her chin and passing her lips, which uh, presented a little bit of a challenge to me um, just by way of me not understanding how it would have uh, translated um, in the drawing that I did. I was able to get it done, but it, it was a bit confusing when I first started off. And I did this in October, but it was, uh, I drew this at first in October, but I didn't get around to doing it until a bit, a bit before Thanksgiving, actually. Um, it was one of my last things that I did before Thanksgiving, before I decided to get lazy. It's pretty good though. And um, this whole inking stage just further and signif uh, signified that I was kind of right in doing this because um, that picture, again, just very much taught me how to uh, paint uh, dark skin a little bit better. Um, I didn't do that properly, but I I got, I got a little closer. And usually I give all these characters names as I draw them, but this was the only one I didn't have a name for until as of five minutes ago. And I named her uh, Safia, which is spelled S-A-F-I-Y-A, but it is pronounced for a lot of people uh, Sophia. So that's kind of how that came to be. And uh, yeah, that's that's I really like it because um, I wasn't too sure what I would want the name I would want to give to a Nubian slash Egyptian mage. But Safia makes sense because it sounds more like Sapphire, which in alchemy, Sapphire, uh, Sapphire and Silver actually uh, just sound they sound very interesting. So I just wanted to. Uh, keep that little aesthetic that I kept going with even though m mages and alchemy don't mages and alchemists kind of hate each other wait I don't know which lore I'm uh, once again the lore that I have in my head is all over the place but yeah that's that's how that works but uh, if you didn't notice I added purple to the skin and I added purple throughout the entire piece like purple is everywhere and nowhere because it is it is so ubiquitous here i just i just i just like adding purple for some reason i'm pretty sure it's because purple is my favorite color and it's purple's color royalty and all that good stuff but uh purple here worked and um if i didn't say anything about the skin i'm not sure how many people would actually notice that um the skin has so much purple in it because i didn't even use a dark brown um, to make that skin, which I am proud of because, um, the more I learn, uh, the more I learn by doing all of these about color, the more I can just rely on the randomest of colors to make the exact color that I want. 
And what do I mean by that? I can make, I can actually make this entire piece with red, black, white, yellow, and blue. With just those five colors, I can make this entire piece all over again and uh, repaint it to look almost exactly um, like it. It may be a little off by a couple of tints and shades, but I'm, that's the point I am when it comes to painting. And I am really satisfied with that. Uh, I didn't know, I didn't know how fast the journey here would come. Uh, I didn't know how fast I would get to this point of the journey in regards to painting and mixing paint, but I got here a lot faster than I thought I would. I've only been doing this for about five months or so. Um, consistently, I should say five months consistently. If I did this, um, probably every day for a year, I'd be much better, but five months is a lot to just do painting. I love it. I loved it. I really loved it. Um, why did I, I actually feel like I should have painted the lips a darker blue instead of a purple, but that's something that I can just think about later. The one regret I do have though, is that I did not paint the eyes white. I did not whiten the whites of the eyes like I did before with gouache. Um, yeah, because right now I'm mixing gouache and um, basic watercolor to make this pop out a lot more. And, ooh, ooh yeah, here's the yellow. So I, I ended up mixing yellow ochre for the background and it worked very, very good, uh, very well. And the way that I ended up doing it, I mixed a bit of white into the yellow because I saw James Gurney, uh, James Gurney's video on painting with a white background, uh, with a yellow background. So basically you would end up, you would end up painting with any color over a yellow background instead of a white one. It brought out a lot of contrast and brightness for the piece, um, or at least that's what I saw in his video. So I wanted to try that a little bit. And it worked. I really, I really liked it. It, ah, it was, it was a scary experiment that kind of worked off and made the piece a lot better. And because I'm using complement, well, I'm mo I'm using complementary colors as best as I can. And when I say that, I mean like right here. This wasn't really the complement that I wanted to use, but I used it still, and it worked. And it 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 made the piece pop out a lot more. And that's something that I am very proud of because I actually tinted the purple on this side right here yeah that was yeah that was good but uh yeah that's 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 that part and then I just added extra couple of details and everything um, I actually drew this one because if you notice that there's a po uh, there this pose is a little different I actually drew this before I drew the Ahsoka video uh, these Ahsoka uh, painting but sketch slash painting that you saw um i this is actually the first time i did these out of order because um i'm a stickler for doing certain things differently oh yes the good peel the peel of the paint uh, peeling off and those good borders but yeah i actually have one more um it's a lesser sketch that i may or may not do i'm not too sure if i want to do it or not but yeah that's uh that's how this works and here is the inking stage. The inking stage is what I love the most because I captured the light sources a lot better. Um, or at least I uh, darkened everything better than I thought I would. And here is the final piece. Again, I did not do anything to the eyes, but because she's a mage, um, I could say something differently. And I liked it. But with all that being said, uh, if you enjoyed the video, please uh, give this video a like and tell me what you thought of in the video um, in the comments below, as well as uh, just subscribe and show some support and all that good stuff. And yeah, with all that being said, I will catch you all later.